Hi there. Welcome to lesson 5 of Rhino 3D for beginners. Today, we're going to take a look at the Rhino Boolean operations. We will be exploring the union, difference, and intersection tools and how they can be used to create more intricate 3D models. First, we'll create two shapes. Let's create a sphere and a cube. To perform a Boolean operation, we need to select the objects we want to combine or subtract. We'll start by selecting both the sphere and the cube. Once both shapes are selected, we can perform a union operation by navigating to the solid menu and selecting Boolean union. This will merge the two shapes together into one object. Next, let's perform a difference operation. We'll start by creating another shape, this time a cylinder. We'll place the cylinder on top of the merged sphere and cube object. Then select Boolean Difference command in the solid menu. We'll perform a difference operation by selecting the object to subtract from. Pressing Enter. Then selecting the object to subtract with. And pressing Enter. This will subtract the cylinder from the merged object, leaving us with a shape with a cylinder-shaped hole in it. Finally, we'll perform an intersection operation. We'll create a cone shape, and place it so that it intersects with the last shape we just created. We'll select both the cone and our shape, and perform an intersection operation, by selecting Boolean intersection in the solid menu. This will create a new shape, that only exists in the area where the cone and the shape intersect. Now, that we've covered the basic Boolean operations, let's explore how we can use them to create more complex shapes. For example, we can create a 3D puzzle by creating several different shapes and combining them together using Boolean operations. That concludes lesson 5 on Boolean operations in Rhino 3D. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember to practice and experiment with different shapes. And please, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, next week we are gonna explore rendering in Rhino 3D. So hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next week.